After saying farewell to the adventures of a young Viking named Hiccup and his dragon friend Toothless with the conclusion of the 2019 trilogy, How to Train Your Dragon is returning. But it'll be different from the franchise you're familiar with. A coming-of-age tale, How to Train Your Dragon masterfully combines family drama with fantastical elements. Based on the novels of the same name, How to Train Your Dragon takes us to the village of Burke, home of legendary Vikings and dragon slayers. As a son of the village chief, Stoic, the vast hiccup, is obligated to carry on his family's legacy of slaying a dragon upon reaching adulthood, particularly after getting to know the dragon Toothless. The good-hearted Hiccup finds it difficult to end another person's life. Throughout the trilogy, Hiccup develops into a superb leader who assists in transforming Burke into a peaceful society where people no longer kill dragons to survive. As the films were consulted visually by the renowned cinematographer Roger, they are visual feasts for the eye, but they also contain enough depth of feeling to bring tears to the eyes of grown men. All three movies received high praise from critics on Rotten Tomatoes. The first movie received a well-deserved 99% approval rating, with the last movie receiving 91%. The three movies were also very successful at the box office, which makes them one of DreamWorks' greatest movie franchises to date. It should come as no surprise that the cherished movie will be the first from the studio to receive a live-action remake because the How to Train Your Dragon franchise franchise is one of Universal and DreamWorks Animation's greatest success stories. The announcement of the project signifies the first ever transformation of a DreamWorks animation project into a live action production for Universal. By remaking its beloved animated films like The Lion King, Alice in Wonderland, and Aladdin, the Walt Disney Company has undoubtedly had success with it over the years. Similar to the first animated series, the live action How to Train Your Dragon will draw inspiration from the 2003 book of the same name. In order to adapt the original story, for the new audience, the remake will feature live-action versions of Hiccup and Toothless. It's obvious that the live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake could be the beginning of another record-breaking box office franchise for DreamWorks and Universal, given the release date and the cast updates that have already been released. The movie was supposed to be released on March 14, 2024, with filming scheduled to start on June 30, 2023, but it was scheduled to start June 13, 2025. The most recent info about the cast of the live-action remake, which is still lacking in details, is that Gerard Butler will be returning to the role. The well-known action star will now reprise his role as Hiccup's unsupportive father after providing the voice of Stoic in the animated films. Butler's experienced presence will add some familiarity to the reboot, as Stoic the Vast plays a significant role in Hiccup's development. It's still unclear if any other original stars will make a comeback. Updates on other fronts include the addition of veteran comic actor Nick Frost, who played Gobber, the belch in the live-action adaption of How to Train Your Dragon, instead of Craig Ferguson, who did the voice of the character in the animated movies previously. Though the cute dragon Toothless will likely be live-action in the same way as the animals in the Lion King remake, some talented young actors who have already been cast in the roles of Astrid and Hiccup. In The Last of Us, Nico Parker, who tore hearts apart everywhere as Joel's daughter Sarah will betray Astrid, a Viking warrior from Clan Hofferson within the Hooligan tribe. Where? We can only hope that the movie finds a way to include America Ferreira, who played the role in the original voice cast in the live-action movie. Likewise, the casting of the black phone star Mason Sims is truly an inspired choice, even though it'll be difficult to envision anyone else playing Hiccup's horrendous haddock third than Jay. Mason's performance in the horror film earned him the Editor's Eyeball Award at the 2023 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, showcasing his potential as a future industry star. The next big young franchise leads in Hollywood could be Mason and Parker if all goes according to plan. In the trilogy, TJ Miller played Tough Nut, Kristen Wiig 
played Rough Nut, Jonah Hill played Snot Lout, and Christopher played Fish Legs, so we can expect them to reappear. It's unknown who will be cast in additional roles. We do, however, know that Dean DeBlois, the franchise's writer-director, will return to write and direct the live-action film. For the first time, the original filmmaker has been enlisted to give his animated predecessor a live-action makeover, in contrast to Disney's recent spat of remakes, some of which are excellent and some of which are appalling. Mark Platt, a producer who has worked on films like Legally Blonde, La La Land, and Universal's eagerly awaited two-part Wicked adaptation, will support Du Bois, who has never directed a live-action film. We've been taken on an amazing journey through the trilogy, witnessing the character's development in front of our very eyes. After beginning as teenagers, Hiccup, Astrid, and their friends grow up and become resilient and kind of adults who begin their own families. This journey comes to an end in the last chapter. After realizing that dragons would never be safe in the human world despite everything they fought for, Hiccup and Toothless said a teary goodbye to one another. The movie then has an epilogue set 10 years later in which Hiccup and Astrid are shown with their two kids, and Night Fury and Light Fury give birth to three dragon fledglings named Night Lights. In the closing moments, the friends briefly get together. Hiccups promise that the dragons will remain hidden until humankind is ready to live in harmony with them in the end brilliantly illustrates why dragons no longer exist in our world. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming, a 22-minute holiday special, was released in December 2019. Ten years later, it continued the story from the epilogue of The Hidden World. It would only make sense to pick up where we left off in the previous installment and maybe concentrate on the stories of the children if there ever is a fourth entry in the franchise. But it wouldn't make sense to go on given how happy and satisfying the trilogy's ending is. Unconfirmed, the live-action How to Train Your Dragon film is anticipated to follow the story of the first book. However, it's unclear if the entire trilogy will be remade. Hiccup, a youthful, awkward Viking from the village of Burk, is the main character of the tale. The Vikings of Burk have one favorite pastime, slaying dragons. Though he doesn't share their fixation, Hiccup still wishes to win over his father, the fabled village chief Stoic the Vast. <laughs> 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 As a result, he employs his creative flair to come up with unique strategies for defeating dragons. Hiccup eventually discovers that the Night Fury, whom he names Toothless, isn't as terrifying as he first seems, even though it is one of the rarest and most dangerous types of dragons to capture. He demonstrates the coexistence of Vikings and dragons by training Toothless. This ushers in a new era of dragon riders in Burke and gives rise to several successful, albeit straightforward TV series sequels and spin-offs. It's still unclear whether this adaptation will be a straight remake of the animated film or continuation of the existing story, although the original co-director Dean DeBlois has agreed to write and direct the live-action version, indicating that the studio intends to stay somewhat faithful to the original trilogy. Hang on! Since the characters developed with each animated prequel, it would be interesting to see their adventures as young adults. Similar to another childhood favorite, Harry Potter, future How to Train Your Dragon movies may grow darker and more depressing as their target audience gets older, and this would continue the legacy that Du Bois established with the animated trilogy. With brasher exterior and the same deep family values as the animated series, Du Bois has all the elements needed to craft a fantasy action picture that is as emotionally complex and thrillingly entertaining as a series like Harry Potter. With greater recognition and positive reviews than the main titles in the failed project, the How to Train Your Dragon franchise has an advantage over others, suggesting better box office performance. Viewers of all ages will be satisfied by raising the stakes for the town of Burke in the live-action adaptation and can live up to other sustained fantasy worlds. We have to wonder if Universal Pictures will follow Disney's lead and adapt more of its beloved properties from animation to live-action if How to 
Train Your Dragon works well on the live action front. Would Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, or Shrek also find themselves recreated? We'll keep an eye out. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.